Welcome to Clan TV. It's a historic night here at Brayhead Arena tonight. Brayhead Clan are going to the playoff finals weekend. A 5-1 win on the night against Nottingham Panthers, winning 9-1 on Agric. With me is the head coach, Ryan Finnerty. Ryan, how's it feel to be going there next week? Yeah, I'm glad that game's over. It's been a long day, uh, a lot of nerves, and I don't think I've been this nervous for a game. And uh, we, we knew they were capable of coming back, and we, uh, we were confident within our system, and I, I can't say enough about the guys. They, uh, they, played, it, uh, they played it the way... We, uh, we practiced it, we preached it, and they went out and did it. And Panthers are a very formidable team, as you well know, from your, your time over here in the UK as well. What was your game plan? How did you plan to nullify them, especially tonight on the back of uh, Thursday's result? Yeah, obviously we wanted to, to take away the, the neutral zone on them and take away their speed. We felt that they, uh, we felt that they, they had a uh, good offensively coming through the neutral zone, and if we, could, if we could limit their speed coming into our zone, we'd give ourselves a good chance. Uh, letting their D-men control the puck as much as possible and then obviously uh, we, we protected the house, we blocked a lot of shots, we killed a lot of penalties and, and uh, when, we, uh, when we had a chance uh, our goal scorer scored. I want to ask you about the, the second period incident, Kyle Jones getting called for uh, illegal use of equipment. What did you make of that, that call at that time? Yeah, it's a tough, I mean obviously it's, uh, you know what, you, you, when you're on that side and you're, you're looking for anything to get back in the game, I, I understand why you'd why you'd give it a give it a shot, but I haven't seen it for a long time, and I had a feeling it was illegal right right when they took it. I think Jonesy did too, but you know what? We uh, we killed it off. That was a big kill. I think that was a bit of a momentum changer for us. We killed off that five on three, then we had a great kill on the five on four, and I thought we played better after that. And guys dug deep, and I can't I can't say enough about that group in there. When did you think that the tie was safe? Uh, uh, you know, was it maybe Bergen's goal, or was it much later on when when the goal started raining in? Yeah, I didn't really think too much about it. I mean, obviously. You know, we, we were 1-1 for a while, and they scored that big first goal, and I thought the guys responded really well. You know, we got a big power play goal from Ash to get it right back and kind of killed their momentum, but they, uh, they, they, can, they can explode at any time, and we were wary of that. Um, but like I said, I thought defensively we were outstanding. Jonesy was amazing all, all weekend or all week. You know, one goal against that team is pretty, uh, pretty formidable. So. Cardiff aren't in the playoffs, that was already a shock. How big a shock is this, the fact that Panthers have won it the last three years, won't be there to defend it in their own, their own barn next week? Yeah, obviously, you know what, now we've knocked them out and, and uh, now it comes a little pressure. Now we're not, we're not just happy to get there, now we've got to go there and compete. You know, you take out the favourites, you, uh, you know, you got to have some respect and go there and, and, and not just be happy to get there and that's what we'll be preaching. We'll enjoy it tonight and then come this week, we're, uh, we're going there to win it and they we're not just happy to get there and you know, but uh, for the next 24 hours, we're probably just going to enjoy it. From a Scottish point of view as well, we're going to have two teams there next week as well. That's that's good for the sport in this country too. Yeah, I think it. You know, I think it, It's what it deserves. I think you, you look at where we've come this year. You look at uh, where Fife's come, <laughs> Dundee. You know, I think uh, we deserve to be there. We deserve to be in the big show. And like I said, it'll be an exciting weekend. And it's been a long time coming for me, boy. I'll tell you what. So it's uh, a pretty sweet feeling. Congratulations, Ryan. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.